Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make DIY jack pads for your Model 3. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned. So here's all the parts you need. I got four hockey pucks online, and all the stuff will be in the description, don't worry about it. You need an inch and a quarter screws, and also these rubber stoppers. So it's critical you get the right number. So we got, I got the number five uh, rubber stopper and they're by size. So I've already measured the jack point and it's 15 centimeters uh, to where you need to cut it. So go ahead and take, I just use an old steak knife. If you have like a saw, a hand saw, you could use that too. So go ahead and cut through that. Make sure you're almost gonna cut it in half. And it happens to be one inch on the other side, so that's the whole the diameter of the jack point. So keep that in mind for later. Then what you want to do is a standard NHL hockey puck is three inches in diameter. So if you measure it to an inch and a half, and then go half an inch each way, then you're going to find your center. So go ahead and do that on both sides, so you have a cross or a plus, and then you can put the rubber stopper right on top of that. It's a nice little target. So since these things are white. Uh, I put a little black sharpie on top so I have a target to put the screw in right down the middle. And then go ahead and put your screw in. And you probably want to hold the actual rubber stopper. Uh, that way it doesn't twist on you. And so the white really bothers me. <laughs> so I'm going to actually uh, sharpie these things. So I sharpie them black so that way it looks a little bit nicer. Um, and that's basically it. Once you screw it in, there's your, <clears throat> your uh, DIY jack pad. And because it's like a kind of a hard rubber but not too hard, you can push it in and it'll stick like that. And so you've got a nice little jack point. So why do you think Tesla designed the jack points this specific way? Do you think it's advantageous compared to using normal jack stands where the car has pinch points on each side and you can use a jack on the front and the back? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.